In this lesson, we will focus on what to do when you first launch Rebel. After logging into Rebel and choosing your preferred language, there will be a prompt to choose the type of drawing tablet you're using. If you're using a Wacom tablet, choose WinTab. If you're using another brand, choose the appropriate option. You can always change this later in the preferences under Tablet. You'll need to restart Rebel for this to take effect. You may also be presented with a tutorial screen that shows the basic layout of Rebel's interface. If you're using multiple displays, the tutorial may be on a different display than Rebel. Rebel may even be on the wrong display. You can drag windows around to place them wherever they are appropriate. We'll learn about all of Rebel's features gradually throughout this course, so you can close the tutorial window for now. It won't appear again unless you activate it under Help Intro Tutorial. On the first launch, a new canvas is created for you to paint on, but normally each time you launch Rebel, a new artwork window appears. This is how you create a canvas to make art on. You can find this under File New. Keep in mind, when I refer to the canvas, I'm not just talking about a traditional artist canvas. You can create digital art on any surface, including paper, wood, stone, or any other substrate. In digital art terms, the document you're working on is simply called the canvas. Let's start by looking at the canvas dimensions. This defines how large and what shape the canvas will be. There are a few key settings to consider when creating a new canvas. The width and height determine the size of the canvas, and the resolution determines the clarity and quality of the image. There is a lot to say about how resolution affects the width and height of your artwork, so I recommend watching my reference video to learn more about this very important subject. Currently, the unit of measurement is set to centimeters, but you can also choose inches or pixels. Let's choose 10 inches wide by 8 inches tall at 300 ppi for this canvas. The new artwork window offers several preset canvas sizes to choose from, and you can also create custom preset sizes to use in the future. We'll cover how to do this later in the course. Beneath resolution are the orientation buttons. You can use these to swap the width for the height and rotate the canvas orientation. On the right side of the new artwork window, you can see the canvas dimensions in pixels, inches, and centimeters. On the lower right side of the new artwork window is an option to change the paper or canvas texture and color. This is something we will come back to in a dedicated lesson. For now, just set it to white simple. Moving down, there is a shortcut to enable the time-lapse recording mode. We'll revisit this as well. And the last option in the new artwork window allows you to choose the color profile for the composition. I prefer Adobe RGB, but we'll be coming back to color profiles later, so you can either choose that or leave it at its default. You can use the left side of the new artwork window to open a recent painting. You can clear this list if you like. If you don't like this window appearing every time you launch Rebel, you can disable it with the checkbox at the bottom. If you do this, you'll start with a new canvas based on the last settings you chose. I'll continue to show it for now. Once I click on OK, Rebel will create my 8x10 canvas with the settings I chose. 